Hello, and welcome to Let It Drive. In this video, I wanted to show you some of the limitations of Comma.ai's Open Pilot and what you should really be paying attention to while using it. After one month of use, I can say it was one of my best purchases and is truly an awesome device. Open Pilot does its best on highways, but I also use it on city streets as much as possible. Open Pilot is continuously improving with user submitted data and comma.ai tweeted that already over 40 million miles have been driven by users of open pilot it's not making my car fully self driving and i'm always ready to take over i can disengage open pilot by pressing cancel from the steering wheel or pressing any of the pedals making steering corrections or changing speed from the steering wheel doesn't disengage open pilot to activate i simply press set so let's get into the video Sit back, relax, and enjoy.
Driving on inner city streets was definitely not as hands-free and relaxing as driving on highways, but this was to be expected. I'm very hopeful that Comma.ai is working on recognizing traffic lights, and in the future can detect pedestrians and cyclists. Also, it seems that improved cut-in detection will not work with my car, because OpenPilot is defaulting to my car's stock radar system. I put a link in the description below where you can check whether or not your car will use its stock radar or open pilots for longitudinal control. All in all, I think open pilot is doing a great job and I'm very satisfied with what it has been capable of. I am looking forward for future updates from Kama.ai on their truly futuristic products. Do you have any questions about the video? Let me know in the comments below. And for more content, subscribe and like the video. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm providing. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.